Hello everyone. How are we? Sorry I'm late. How rude of me. Hope everyone's doing alright. Um, yeah, that's not the way you want to kind of prep for a stream, to be honest. Literally, five minutes ago, I was compiling files on the computer over there and getting them sent out for work, so... There you go. <sighs> it's been a long old day. Started at 6am as well, so, um, yeah. We'll, uh... We'll be feeling this one tomorrow. Um, but good to see you. How are you? Like I said, I don't I hate being late for stuff, so uh, I apologise. But we're here, and we're going to have a bit of fun now. And I need a bit of a chill, so there we go. Um, yes, uh, if you would hit the like button, that would be awesome. And if you're not a sub, and you fancy it, you could be my 60,000th subscriber tonight. I am on... I was about to turn this around to you, but then you would see how much I earn on YouTube. Which isn't that much, but still. Uh, 59,975. So we are 25 subs away from 60k, which is insane. Insane. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. Right. Plan tonight. We have got field 25, which is quite a large grass field. We, I believe, we do. We own the BGA. In the BGA, there are two massive silage bunkers. So we are going to try and put as much as we can. Well, try and put the whole, uh, try and put the whole field in, really, if we can. Uh, we've got two forage harvesters. We've got two trailers there, but we have got a pickup wagon over there as well. Now I think. I don't think I could run it as a pickup wagon and two trailers because that would mess things up with course play. But um, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll maybe use it as a third trailer because I think we're going to need to run just the distance between it and uh, the fire. Especially if we're running two forage harvesters, we might need to um, we might need to run uh, the three trailers, or we could run one forage harvester and just have the three trailers uh, rotating. So. There we go. Is this a map in progress? <laughs> Tired, it's an in-joke. Um, Yoss, uh, Yoss was expecting me to be on a map building uh, live stream today. It was the only one, nobody else is expecting it, but uh, there we go, there we go. Evening Globbox, how are you doing? Chinook, nice to see you mate. Topping and tailing the day with a chat with Chinook. I was on uh, Argsy's stream earlier on and uh, Chinook was working hard in the fields, getting paid pennies by arcs so there we go evening days how you doing mate nice to see you farming nice to see you as well yep so not somebody else was on arcs stream this morning what am i packing that silage with so um i was going to use a 9rx that had been sent to me by uh somebody but i couldn't get it to work for some reason because it had a it had a conversion of Cal Farm's uh, big blade from uh, from FS19, so uh, we were going to give that a blast. But I, again, just I've had no time. You know, I like to prep for your streams and stuff like that. I literally have turned this on, had a look at it uh, the other day, and I went, okay, we could do something with that, and give it a go. So. Oh, Glovebox is doing Daytona. Let's hope it goes better than Le Mans did this week. Whew, did you see what happened there? Max was not a happy camper. He was not a happy camper. Uh, control. Who can remember again what the t how to switch the work mode? I had to ask this in the last stream as well, and I couldn't... It's, it's, is it Alt-L? Alt-R? Control! <laughs> yeah, I knew, I just hit everything until, it, thank you guys. Well, I don't know why it's not showing up in the thing. So, what we'll do, because the swaths, which is very handy, we'll, um, we'll set up our course with this, and then I think we'll, we'll switch straight to the, um, We'll switch straight. I'm going to forage harvest it. I was going to pick up wagon, but I'm definitely going to forage harvest it. So let's get... Let's get, let's get... Course play. 
up and running, shall we? I am all over the shop. Right, this is us down here. Create job. Course play field work. I love it when it picks a field up straight away. Always, always makes you happy. We're going to just do the one. We're going to do three headlands. We're going to start in the headlands. I think it's as simple as that. We're going to go clockwise. If only I could have some on my tablet. My tablet's dead at the moment. I need to uh, charge it back up. Um, the cable, which just happens to be a PlayStation controller cable, has weirdly disappeared from my desk. So I'm sure it'll show up at some point. If I shout enough, if I rant enough, it'll show up. Um, all right. First waypoint. Let's save it, actually. Not that we need to save it anymore, but... Uh, I like to save stuff. It's field 25 we're on, aren't we? Field 25. Twenty-five for save course activate mower. That's the kids for the cable. That's exactly where it is, Johnny. That is exactly where it is. But if I ask them, they'll be like, "No, I don't know." I don't know. We are off now. I just want to make sure the front mower is working because last time it didn't. Oh, we're taking a good, a good chunk of the uh, taking a good chunk of the edge of the road out there as well. Okay, well that's good. We'll let him run for a little bit, build up a bit of uh, build up a bit of a lead, and then we will uh, come back and get get tucked into it. Now, I get frustrated with. Uh, with the forage harvest, not so much with the forage harvesters, but with the trailers. As a guarantee, they'll try and drive on the left-hand side in the trees, and I want them on the right-hand side, but we'll have a play around and see if there's a setting that we can, uh, see if there's a setting we saw. Evening, Mr. Mark Thor. How are you, sir? They do make decent dog lead. They're the three-meter ones, especially. Three-meter ones. Of course, play an auto drive live. What could possibly go wrong? Mark, have you seen one of these before? <laughs> <laughs> so they're working with wider on the compactor than the blade so it doesn't yep yeah, that's um well mate we'll, we'll give it a go we'll see if how see how well it works with these bunkers shall we but let's go back to the farm now this is where i start to scratch my head i do have a 9r is, is that it there's a tractor here somewhere I think it's a 9RX here. Yeah, I wonder if we take this one. Clues in the name of the vid, it's... It's always a good place to check before you ask the question. Just... The question is, would you put a tractor this dirty into a silage bunker? I don't have a blade either. I can get one, that's fine. There's just like, this tractors and kit lying all over this map. Now, I don't know if Farmer Ed's in. But we've, uh, I've got, this is a bit of a ha <laughs> this is a bit of a hack, hack job. To uh, Ed's, pretty standard procedure for me to be honest, isn't it? Wrecking Ed's uh, um, auto drive courses. But this corner here, we had a few issues with because it ran too close to the chargers. Um, we think we fixed it though, didn't we? But what I'll do, I'll just stretch that turn out just a little bit more because I think that's where it was catching last time. So let's do that. That might just 
avoid any issues. In fact, I'm going to just shuffle all of this out just a little bit so that we don't have any tantrums on the way out. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Basically, we want to head up here. Now we're going to need to actually add some bits onto here. I'm in the wrong tractor for doing this, but we'll do it anyway. When has been in the wrong tractor ever caused me any issues before? So let's hit record. I can't see my lines. I hate it when I can't see my lines. Line height above tractor. Show next path. No, two things I always change. Apply. And you need to switch it back on. And there we go. We've got our blank one. Yeah, so let's hook that up. This is our tip. I was having a conversation actually today on my comments on on uh, YouTube. Is course plays habit or auto drives habit of um, when you put a reverse course in, how it never uh, goes to the end of the reverse before it starts reversing. Very frustrating. What do we think? Go back as far as we can, shall we? There we go. And let's call this... Bunker... Let's call... I'm going to jump, actually, because I've got other bunkers. Let's call this BGA Bunker Tip. Tip. One. Okay. Now... I'm going to drive back out. Oh look, where have my dots gone? Must have hit something. It's not ideal. Where have my dots gone? I pressed the button, haven't I? Um, off and on. I've hit something. When I've hit reverse. I hate doing that. Right control. Thank you. There we go. Wanna delete that one now. How do I delete ones again? <laughs> I've forgotten all my buns. Uh, I saw Johnny asking there, why do you do it without a wagon on? Because if you have the wagon on, Johnny, it always alt. Left click. Thank you. To that. To that. To that. To that. Right. We are good. Yes, Johnny, if you uh, have the trailer on, it always measures from the tractor. So if you have the trailer on, it'll tip it too far forward. Right. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm getting a blade, is what I'm doing. Just do a little bit of store deliveries here. Um, I think I've still got it in, but I haven't got a connector for it, because I haven't got the right tractor for it. So, um, there it is. But we're going to have to just go with this bad boy, I think. Which seems a bit... Uh, seems a bit lowbrow on the big tractor, but it'll work well. Big rig! How's it going, buddy? Nice to see you, mate. Moving the last two points before a reverse further away. Seems to help, includes it, yes. Yeah, if you can get as far as you can away from where you want to start reversing, it seems to... Uh, 
Yeah, shame we haven't got anything bigger, but this will have to do. I'm also interested to see how this is going to go with a... Um, right, a, a park point. We probably... I might put in the other bunker as the park point, so he's well out of the way for when... Uh, for when the trailer's come in and out. Right, here we go. Let's get rid of that. Bunker silo. So it's recognised it's in bunker silo mode because of the blade on the tractor. Um, use of, use of one of F. What did Arx and I do? It was on um, it was on no man's land, and we had the we had a uh, a bulldozer for leveling of the land and doing a little bit of um, terra farm, and we were like, let's just level a silage with this. It literally, I think we rolled over about four times, and it was done. So right, bunker silo mode. So let's go to here. Let's zoom in and up. Oh, I always do this. You put, your, you put your store deliveries there and it's always in the way of uh, the create job, force plate, silo work. Hasn't recognised the silo, that's interesting. So I'll put that in the silo, so it's recognised it now. And the park position, let's put the park position there in the other bunker. We're going to go backwards into the bunker and we're going to wait for the unloader at the park position. That should be that. Let's see what he does. I can imagine this twitching a lot. So that looks like park position. Yeah, it's probably not the ideal tractor, but what I'm going to do, I just want to see where my auto drive lines are as well. It looked like he was far enough away there to not cause any grief. Oh, he's giving it a wide berth, though, isn't he? That was a bit nerve-wracking. I am I am having a lot of fun with silage at the moment. Ooh, pushing my luck here, aren't I? Now, the only other thing I want to watch is there's a lip on this. Did DJ do this nicely? Oh, there's a little lip, but that's all right. All right, I think... We might. Mm, that's interesting. That's interesting. I think we might have to swap tractors here. I think this is not the ideal tractor. Either that or the bunkers are uh, the bunkers are off. And I zoom in on the box. Which box is that, Mark? Got that point. There's no points, Mark. I didn't set any points. It's uh, it's all automated. So either it's reading the fact that the tractors. It could be that it could be that the bunker's empty. And it's. Do you know what else it's not doing? It's not adjusting its position, it's just going backwards and forwards in the same point. Right. Oh, he was moving then, I think. Damn it. Right, we'll give it another go. Hey, Preston, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. I uh, either the so either the bunkers are wrongly configured or this tractor's what I think it might be is this tractor's too uh, long, so it's misjudging how far back the blade is from... Right, change plan. I'm going to change tractors. It would have been nice, but we ain't got all day for this. And now I do know that the um, John Deere fans are going to hate this doesn't work on the front of this mark there's no front connectors you need to have a modded uh, 9rx to do this hence the reason i'm not using the carl farms one i think i've got a steiger somewhere somewhere let's let's tab through every single vehicle and there are a lot of them 
Oh, the fence could be quite good, couldn't it, on the tracks? That might be my backup. He's doing all right. I'm going to the Steiger with trips. Let's give that a go, shall we? Let's give this a, ro a roll. I've tried this one before, so I know this works. I want to use the fence for my uh, hauling mark, just because they're... Uh, I know they're absolutely bang on the money from an auto-drive perspective. They seem to uh, really, really wake really really work even you making maps soon mr sim guy i am um i'm working on a small private project it may never see the light of day as a public map but i want to try it i have to say i'm having a load of fun with it actually the problem is it's getting in the way of um getting in the way of uh, <laughs> making vids they are a bit slidey with the LSWs on, yes. You have to cut your corner speed down a bit. I'm colouring the kids, but I picked red. Red is my favourite colour. Now oh, that's interesting. Look, it's not picked up. Bunker silo on this tractor either. Oh, that's because it's got an old course. Right, let's clear that. There we go. That's helpful. Bunker silo mode. Let's do it. And I'm hoping I would do this a bit quicker and we could be uh, could be up and running. But uh, got to do it right, haven't you? Source plate silo work. Silo position there. Park position there. In fact, I'm going to put that, see how far in I can go on the park position. Start job. Right. Test. What's your favourite tractor brand or number one pick? I Honestly, Joe, I, I am pretty agnostic. I, I, I like everything. I sometimes I would say maybe lean towards John Deere sometimes, but I'm also loving. No, that's probably my fault. I might put it outside the. Uh, might put it. I think I might have just been a little bit over optimistic with my uh, park position there. Let's try it again, shall we? Let's try it again. Create job. Park position. Let's park him over here. I just want him out of the way. It's basically it. Oh, that doesn't help. I didn't set those up properly. That may have had quite a lot to do with it. <laughs> right. Third time lucky. Work it out. He'll work it out. I've got confidence and I've got faith in him. Hey, Mr. Maslin, how are you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Thank you, Dave. I spotted that. Let's see what he does now. He has, hasn't he, Hamish, um, on the course? I, I was a little, little bit struck with the um, the foliage uh, thing. The foliage script. That blade's quite high up, though. It's going to go underneath that, isn't it? All right, it's these bunkers. These bunkers aren't... Um, I don't think these bunkers are working properly. That's a pain. Um, can I delete them? Here's a quick question. 
as I'll put a base game on and if I can. But I bet I can't. No. That's a shame. Right. Quick change of plan. How are we going to do this? What are we going to do here? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? No, it's going to save now. <laughs> I've got an idea. Right. I've got an idea. What could possibly go wrong? What's the better? We'll have a, we'll have a tractor in the river before, before the end of the stream. I'm going to put another bunker behind here. I'm going to do... Should have put um, free landscaping in, in, in as well. Might just have to easy dev some more in. We run out. RC UK scale models. How are you, mate? Nice to see. You. It's been a while. Five to one. That's good odds. I'll put a tenner on that. that much of a sure thing, am I? We'll easily fill this, by the way. That's disappointing, those bunkers aren't quite um, set. They're the first bunkers, actually. And I've been trying this quite a lot with a few things recently. They are the first bunkers that haven't worked with the bunker silo unload. I've used Bally Spring, Attingham Park, I've used the base game stuff. Um, so, that's quite interesting. Right, there we go. I think. Get away with that. Make sure that we've got a decent path. We have to reset our uh, tip again, which is annoying as well. But there is, where is it? This one. Which is interestingly, the ones that he's using. That is odd. That is odd, isn't it? Right. Gonna have to make it look pretty as well. Can't have can't be driving on grass. That's not how we that's not how we do things here. Just ex extending the BGA. There we go. That'll do for now. It's not pretty, but it's effective. And we will need to do a bit of smoothing here, I think. Smooth it out. Make it look pretty. And less chance of falling off a cliff when you drive over it. It's looking alright, I think. Oh look, I've unlocked an achievement. So from here now, here we go. The pain now is I'm going to have to um, add to my auto drive course. We'll just ignore that one that we did. Let's take one from, let's say about here. Doesn't really matter because I've got it set to not join the first point. Right. So we will go around here. I should probably test the bunker first, shouldn't I? I've tested this bunker before, so it should be alright, he says. Famous last words. You come in here with your trailer. We'll roll it. We've got a little bit of breathing space here, so we'll go to... And it'll never go this far. Next notch, come on, give me one. 
Give me, give me a marker, thank you. Like I said, Johnny, before, um, course plays uh, for bunkers is automated. There's no, there's no, there's no points. Don't put any points in, so. Uh, PGA new bunker. Tip. Tip top. Okay. And then. We just drive out of here. At least we're giving that uh, mower a nice head start, aren't we? Oh, I've made a faux pas here. I should have should have joined it to the one behind. Right. That he says confidently should work. I remember that, Stephen. That was a highlight. I've got a clip of that. Some somebody clipped it. I've got it. I've got it somewhere. Watching it the other week, actually. Right. Let's try this again. Come on. Work for me, baby. Let's do it. So, Steiger. Create job. Spotted a bunker already, that's good. Silo position there. Park position there. Oh, that's a bit close actually. Park position there. Hope it's the right way. We're going to reverse in. We're at the park position. Let's see if I left enough space. Having a little bit of a shimmy there. Hello, Hodge. How you doing? Nice to see you. Making sure all the points are connected. Cons yeah, I agree, Tim. Right, let's see. D Max, nice to see you, mate. How's things? <laughs> we will sure going to see tractors washed in the river. Yeah. Okay. This is making me happier already. He says. As it... I'm panicking then. I was like, where's he going? What a weird position. Maybe... <laughs> What was going on then? I think he's sorting himself out. Why is it an angle? Why is it an angle? Articulated tractors, man. Okay, that's looking more promising. I think he was just working himself out. There we go. There we go. We are cooking with gas. Shy Stegman. <laughs> right. Right, we better get a wriggle on now. Where are my mower headers? I've got mower headers somewhere. I know where they are in the other shed. Yeah, I, t I, mean, I was. It was. It was a brave call taking an articulated tractor. To be fair, I don't know what I was thinking. A nice little eight RX with the front hitch on it would have been beautiful. But oh no, I had to make it difficult for myself, didn't I?
Right, let's load the course while we're on the way to the field. And actually, while I'm here, I might... Where are my fence, actually? Like I said, it's just tractors abandoned all over this... F oh, all over this map. Um, I need a fence. Seven R is it up in this field? Do I not have any? I, th I could have sworn I've definitely got an eight fifty. I definitely have. Yeah, where are you? <laughs> Where are you? Can anybody see anything? <laughs> Somebody stole my fence. Oh, there he is. Hiding down here. I try combine. Put a corn header on the header on the combine. That mower's literally finished that entire field. He's not been hanging about, has he? Right, you are gonna send you back to the farm. He says he can't remember which farm he comes, Fair Oaks. Um Fuel Point. Ooh. And while he's going that way... Oh, look! Let's just tab straight to the other fence, shall we? He's got silage in. Um, what was I doing? My god, there's got to be an easy... Too much, I've got too much. I need to sell some stuff, don't I? Right, you... I'm going to send down to field 25. Meet the... Uh, there's the fence coming the other way. This could be fun. Field 25. Go. See if the Julies and uh, the. <laughs> What can I say? The auto drive creators, I never ever have an issue with their courses. They are phenomenal. Ev like literally every single time I touch them, there is never an issue. It's uh, it's pretty amazing to be honest. Right. Field twenty five mower. Why isn't it let me load it? Because I've got to clear current course. There we go. Load course. I do believe... Oh, right. I was, I was going to say I thought that was our mower finishing, but no, that's... That's our boy back here. So... Let's jump in to... I feel like I'm rushing around like a, a madman here, so I'm not really paying a chat, attention to the chat. Um... I need to move him out of the way. I think all of my night bots stop. Oh yeah. Some of it will work. I'm on the wrong map, I think. Tonight. Didn't have time to set it up. Right, there we go. Right, defend. Let's get you. We've got enough fuel, you'll be good. They're a month into working on the oaks. It's a 4x, so it takes a, a fair bit of time. Hey, Moot. Hi, Gears, how are you doing? 
Music man, is that man you won one? Hope they lose. New daughter drive for Bally Spring. <laughs> I think they're working on that too. Boys are busy at the moment. Uh, right, field 25. Off you pop. Don't go that way though, come on. Just needed to be like a couple of feet further forward. Oh, auto save time. Mark Simpson. Oh, happy birthday, mate. 22 months. You and uh, you and Cranky it must be, I think, probably two of my longest uh, supporters. Which is much appreciated. Thank you very much. Forts I got on Bali are from the mod. That's right, Meatball, except for the TW15, which is a private convert. Um, and I don't have permission from the modder to, uh, to release it, unfortunately, so... Um, it's going to have to stay private. It's To be honest, there's loads of things in it that are, are buggy, because I'm not a modder. Put, put simply. Um, I wonder if I can tip, and we'll just use this trailer. Oh, Scott coming in clutch there with the with the big numbers. Now, can I tip? I can put it back in here. Good. It's this thing back in here. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, Bally Spring. I'm loving it at the moment. It really is. It's therapeutic. Um. Although I did see a hilarious comment, it was a guy from, I think he was from Montana, and he was like, this map's a joke, this is, and I was like, ah, okay, I'm guessing, like, his fields are 25,000 acres. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's an out here, isn't there? Not 1.7 acres. TC, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Big numbers in tonight. Oh, we have got a traffic jam. That's my fault as well for leaving the... Uh, leaving the header parked at the side of the road. Let me move that out. Let me move that out of the way for you guys. I actually think the uh, entrance to the field is in a bad place. One thing with this map that uh, I realised was that the... Um, The entrances are pretty few and far between. So, we are going to set this up now. Um, combine course, field 25, and we're going to tip at BGA New Bunker Tip. Good to go. And this, we are going to, I'm not reading the chat, but I will, I will. Dark Angel, hello, Moldova. Nice, nice to see you. Appreciate you joining. Um, right, here we go. Let us, I've loaded course already, so I don't need to do that again. But we will load it again just for safety, because I don't think I did it right. And there we are, I didn't, so that was a sensible thing to do. We're going to go to first waypoint. We're going to go, we're going to go to auto drive, field 25 is selected, so that's good. So look, our trailer should, to all intents and purposes, follow us. Let me roll them forward a bit. Be on pickup. Right. Nearest waypoint. Just bumbled him forward a bit there. I might need to turn him off and ah uh, yeah, turned himself off. That was why, because he got to the end of his last course. He's gone to the inside too. I like it. 
Right, one down. Now, what I need to do... Probably need to set a little loop here. Because I imagine field 25... I take it all back. Of course they've set it up well. Of course they've set it all up well. You know what they're like. Dark Angel, um, you can get my mods from any... Uh, mostly from the mod hub. I would say probably 90% of them are from the mod hub. Or you can find them on modders' Facebook pages. Um, all the, all the well-known modders' Facebook pages should have... Uh, oh, what am I doing? Turn off. Uh, should have links to their mods on them, so... It's as simple as that. Right, field 25. Field 25. And we're going to tip at new bunker tip. And he will just pull over. He'll just sit here. He'll roll on about 65%, I think. Let's go back to the other guy. He's filling up nicely. Right. We'll just sit back and uh, sit back and watch now. How it going? Can do you play this on console? Isaiah, no, um, you can't. The map's too big, and uh, we're running course play, which doesn't work on consoles as well. So, uh, snap a face. How are you? Crikey, we've 200, nearly 250 people in tonight. That's crazy for a Wednesday. Thanks all for coming. I appreciate it. It's been a little um, haphazard tonight. I was working literally until five minutes before we started the stream, so... I was a bit disorganised, but we're here. Alberta. Lovely part of the world. And we're far enough out that he's not going to... And the, there aren't the sharpest turns in this field, so... We could pop the... Um, could move him a little bit further away from the pipe, but I don't think we need to. Quality content. Oh, here come the excuses. <laughs> I was annoying about those bunkers though, right? That was frustrating. Right, it'll take a couple of seconds for him to register he's full, and he will disappear. And our other trailer... ...hasn't called yet. So he's off. Where is my second trailer? Did I turn that on or not? Oh no, look, he's gone. He was just a bit slow on the uptake. Shut it, Stegman. Yeah, <laughs> I do, I do, I do all the tests so you guys don't have to. That's me, I'm, I'm the guinea pig. He should drive on at 65% actually. We should check that um, in auto drive because he should really have been right up at the uh, he should really been right up at the uh, the vehicle when uh, when we when the other one left. But I don't know why he's not. Well, the mower's still going. I thought he would be long finished. Right, so let's go to... Right, moment of truth. Let's check... Let's check this boy. See if he's going to behave and go the right way. I think he'll loop around. Yeah, to find the field trigger. And then he'll be on his way. What would you say is the best way to empty the bunker silo again after you have filled it? Um, you can either use a conveyor, Thomas, which is not a bad way to do it, although it can be a bit slow. Or you can... Um, just get the biggest bucket you can find on a digger. My tipple of choice tonight, Mark, is water. Honestly, what a day. I've, honestly, it was... Um, I got up at six, we have a client who just said, we need this and we need it really quickly. You've got basically today to do it. And uh, I looked at the amount of work and I was like, I don't think I can do that. 
and then I thought, no, I'm going to give that a bash. So uh, I've literally not moved from my seat for the entire day. I'm literally, I'm in my scruffs that I got, got up this morning. Haven't showered, haven't done anything. Um, so, uh, but I did it. I did it, and they pay handsomely for the short-term stuff, so it was a nice little earner today so that's the that's the positive side of it hey long hill how you doing mate i did point that out to the towers that didn't seem to care they didn't seem to care but uh, <laughs> hey as long as they're paying the bills right right here we go moment of truth look at that low light as well this is a nice map. I still love coming back here. How fat of a rush premium. Oh, there is a... There's some danger money in there, days. Don't worry. So, this is the only... Not It's not an issue with uh, the bunks. If he's just started another one of his passes, the tractor has to wait until he's done that. It's, it's not. He's not clever enough to say, "Oh, the tractor's coming." Well, you could have the detect a little bit further out, maybe. But um, he doesn't seem to. But there you go. He's folding up now, and he should go to his parking place. And it should be far enough away from my reverse point that we're not gonna we're not gonna fall out with each other. Yes. I haven't tried the open-ended ones. Has anybody else tried the open-ended ones yet? There we go. So we definitely need a third trailer. A beer or a whiskey, yeah. So let me let me show you. This is oh, this is a good example of if I can do it in time. It's going to go right to the end now, isn't it? So we've got one, two... So yeah, he's stopped two... Which is what... Um, I don't know somebody said before. Was it, was it Chris said before? The last two points it tends to, uh, tends to ignore. This is looking good now. It's taken a while to set up. When I say a while, I mean an hour. Oh, brilliant days, yeah. My favourite one was a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, you, can you have that done and back to me for five? And I said, oh, it's quite a lot of work there. I need to... It might not be five. Half five? Six? And she goes, no, five is when I leave work. I was like, okay. And I said, but if I get it to you by half five, six? And she went, No. My computer will be turned off by then. And I was like, well, okay. <laughs> what do you what do you do with that? What do you do with that? Turn your computer back on, maybe? I don't know. Uh what's happening now? Okay, it's going in the river. Ooh, double reverse. Why is he double reversing? Anybody got any advance on that one? Ozzy, how you doing? Wonder why that did a double reverse then. Now... If all goes to plan, there's the second, there's the second tractor leaving. Right, we need to get another tractor, don't we? Oh, excuse me, blue car, it's coming through there. Picking up the reverse first. Yeah, it was just being extra, <laughs> just being extra careful. No, I did. I had to shave, Aussie. I was feeling a bit hairy. 
Mrs. FSG just, I think Mrs. FSG would have went, look at the state. I remember when I wore my beanie last week and I had the long, and she was like, look at the state of you. I was like, okay. Switching, they would have to be, they wouldn't, it wouldn't work if they weren't jointly. I love it when they blast past each other. That is my biggest memory of Silogen when I was on the farm, was just gunning it past each other on on the back lanes. Right. Let's go and find an appropriate third tractor. That's got too many wheels on it. That's got, I think I've got a nice... We could actually use the mower tractor, to be honest, because he's about finished. A tracked tractor's overkill for... Uh... There's another eight... Oh, there, but with row crops... Oh! I couldn't have made it up if I tried, could I? Right, you. Let's get you home and get you hooked up to trailer number three. Now, this doesn't run as well as the fence, interestingly. For whatever reason. Haven't had the best results, Dave, no? BGA on Atting was the. BGA on Atting was lumpy and bumpy and. O Sometimes the uh, I get a lot of um, God, the field dimensions on this are a little bit out, aren't they? Um, I get a little bit of oh, sorry, getting in the way of. Uh, um, too much green. Uh, it comes up with a warning, David, and uh, I've not had a ch I've not managed to get it to work, so. Uh, no, I don't think the de I don't think the density map is set up for it. So, I'm gonna run out of light at this rate. Let's go back to zero point five time, just so we don't don't end up driving in the dark. A healthy three point five. Nice, Scott. Yeah, more trucks than Eddie so far. <laughs> I really do. Kind of the nature of oh, I'll just buy more stuff. What's going on in the pit there? Hor looks horribly like he's driven in the wrong way, and is stuck. What do we think? That doesn't look promising. done that thing again. So this is my this is the problem if you get it too if you get it too far forward um I'm falling out of love with these um, these hinge tractors. I don't think they're helping our cause at all. I think I might. I think I might. Yeah. Simulation station. I think it was wildly optimistic and it's come back to haunt me. So what I might do is park this in the bunker with the other one. I think we might. I haven't got a front hitch on the on the fence, have I? Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, the case. Has the case got weights on the front, or has the case got? Um, there's a case around the corner here with jewels on it, which could work nicely. Oh, it's not got a front hitch, but I have got. I have got a toolkit. Get the bailer, yeah, just chuck it all in and go and get the bailer. Do I have a toolkit here? Yes, I do. I stick a front hitch on this, you know, that thing you do. Yeah, we'll just swap the we'll just swap the wheels and put a front hitch on it. Five minute job. No messing.
Uh, customize attaches the point. There we go. 14.6 ton. That's a that's a weighty enough tractor for us, isn't it? There you go. She's good to go. <laughs> Machine in your toolbox, yeah. I only grumble is the is the babysitting to get it set up. When it works, it's genius. Oh, this is gonna end in tears as well, look. Because I've just abandoned my other tractor in the middle of Let's put you here, out of harm's way. What a save that was. Glengar, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. How's things? Don't forget to hit the smash the like button, please, folks. If you would, that would be super helpful. I'm uh, creeping. With bloodied fingernails towards 60,000. So the more folk that get to see this, the better it is. And hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll hit that magical mark, which kind of makes it feel like, well, obviously it's over halfway to 100k, but uh, when you're out in the 50s, it feels like you're a lot closer, doesn't it? Sub count. We have a live sub count. We are going for. It says if you can press the right buttons. 59984. I am doing good, Glenga. I am doing good, mate. I was recording um, Valley Spring, actually. This morning. A pre work ritual now as I get up and do a bit of video and before work. Everyone call your mothers. Get it properly on the floor, let's do the business with it, right. An interesting reverse, a very slow reverse that, isn't it? Anyway. Let's get this back on course play, shall we? Third time lucky, third tractor lucky. Right, the case magnum, create job, silo work. Can't see a single thing here. Silo position there. Park position. Let's put you there. That looks too far away though. It looks dangerously far away. Although there's quite a, quite a lot of stuff there, wasn't there? So let's do that. We're driving into the forwards, into the silo, and we're going to wait in the park position. Here we go. Here we go. There's another tractor coming back as well. It works like a dream, Ed. It works like a dream. I had to add a few... The bunkers don't work with the, the new bunker levelling thing, which is annoying. But... Uh, other than that, we've we've not actually had to make any adjustments other than the tipping point and things like that, so. Although I do have to ask Ed, why am I... Why does it reverse tip? 
drive out and reverse again before it then drives out. Seemed odd. I know there'll be a reason for it. Sugar cane in the field for 60k. Quite high up, the old... Oh, he's not put his blade down yet. Sometimes happens, so he'll put it down the second time. Did I, I haven't had a chance yet, Mark, to test it, no. Take care, TC! Have a good one, mate. Do not know why he's running so slow, but I'm not going to complain. He's working. That'll do me for now. Yeah, you do. I mean, you do. You do. It is... Farm manager, I remember my dad constantly checking on the the workers when they were doing stuff because, uh, yeah. Oh, course play, that was not what I wanted. I wanted to just get in it. There we go. Right, let's go and get a third trailer. It is course play doing the silo Zuna. Yes. Came with the latest update. Which is the one that's in the in the mod hub actually, which I was quite impressed that they had uh, released it uh, so quickly after they'd put it up on the GitHub. It was only about three days, wasn't it? So, hey, Mr. Junt is in the house. How are you, mate? Nice to see you. Right, we will ditch the mower. I'm not going to put it away because it needs a a jolly good clean. But we'll just drop it here for now. So we know we have to wash it. Hey, Adam, how you doing? Nice to see you. Indiana. Nice part of the world. Uh, oh, no. Gee. Oh, thanks, Adam. Yeah, we're having fun on it. It's a, it's a, it's a good little, uh, it's a good little series. Safe, not healthy. Yeah, still struggling, Hamish. I've run out of antibiotics, and uh, I'm still coughing. Right, third trailer. Let's do the thing. Sorry, Music Man, I have seen that a couple of times. I apologise, and I keep going. I must answer Music Man, and I am not... And then I got distracted by something else. Uh, I play in 4K. The stream is in 1080p, I think. Although it may encode up to 4K after the stream. I don't remember. You, you guys will be able to tell me. It'll say something on the, uh, on the chat. But I do. I've got 4K screens. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it, down, it downsizes it because the encoders on YouTube are so... <laughs> that they wreck everything anyway, so... I would love it if they... Uh, bought Twitch and... took their encoding <laughs> for streaming. It's not reaching the back waypoint when it tips and so moves forward then reverses to reach before the... Good one, Dave. So we should we just pull it forward a little bit. There we go. Well, things are running. If he's empty and he's leaving, that's a good sign, right? Now, which... And he's reversing out. But he's doing his job too. I believe we might just about be there. Thinking a lot. Well, I was reading some stuff today, Hamish, about long COVID. This this whole month, six week illness is technically the same as long COVID, but without symptoms because it's just a cold. But I think it's a it's a legacy of our immune systems and COVID. I think. Uh, Junt, uh, no, ask away, mate. You've dropped me a drop me a DM if you want in uh, in chat. Um, in Discord after if you want we can have a chat about it. I am very recently just become an Apex partner so
I understand they're not for everybody, but um, but if you if you're the sort of person that doesn't want to build your own PC, pre-mades are uh, pre-mades are, are the best second option. Although you've just got to be oh that Fent was impatient, wasn't he? He was like, come on, get a wriggle on. I'm picking on the John Deere. The only John Deere guys are getting picked on. Do they glow in the dark? Yes. Yes. Uh, hey, Jerry, how are you doing? Whereabouts in Denmark are you, Jerry? He's picked up straight away, which is nice. Although we got... What happened there? We on a, oh, auto save time. Thank you, Emmett. That is very kind of you. Um, how long did it take after creating my channel? So I started in July, two and a half years ago. Oh, now this is what happens. Sometimes the the two trailers have a bit of a face off here. I can't work out whether or not the fence going to take over or. Or what he's going to do. Um, and just that the Fen getting out of the way to line himself up, and the John is like, right, it's my opportunity. I've seen my, I've seen my chance. I'm going in. Take care, Tim. Thanks for hanging out, mate. We'll see you again soon. Don't work too hard, mate. I know it's a useless point saying that to you, but um, I will say it. Um, so, yes. Um, where are you, Emmett? Um, so, yes, I'd start in July. Um, very slow. You know, I think I maybe was on 10 or 15 viewers, uh, 10 or 15 subs after about a month. And then it went up to about 60 or 70. Actually, um, Silver, Silver News, if you remember Silver News. Um... He was kind enough to give me a shout out. He had about forty-eight thousand subs at the time. He gave me a shout out because um, he really liked my logo. Um, but I, I went up quite quick. I then went up to about one hundred and fifty then. But it was um, I found uh, I found Flint Hills, the map Flint Hills. I was reading the Farm Sim Reddit. Shout out to uh, Dazed if he's still here, who used to be a mod on it. Um, yeah, I found Flint Hills. Somebody had mentioned Flint Hills on Reddit and what a brilliant map it was. And I was like, Flint Hills? Never heard of that. And uh, searched YouTube. Nobody was playing it. Um, had a look at it, downloaded it, and I was blown. It was like the most brilliant map. Uh, four, uh, you know, four times map. And it was, uh, it was brilliant. So I, I did a map tour on it, started a series on it, and I just went from... Actually, looking back on it now, I just it was nuts. I went from about 400 subs to about 5,000 in about two months. It was just, like, monumental explosion of uh, viewership. And it's kind of been steady ever since then. It's two years. It's, it's just over two years now. I was monetized in November 2020. Um... And yeah, ever since then, it's uh, it's been a steady stream of um, of subs, people coming along to watch me, which still to this day baffles me that uh, um, people want to want to watch me drive tractors around. It's weird, but equally, I'm completely, uh, incredibly grateful to you all for doing it. Incredibly grateful. So. Uh, to the point that when I when I quit my other job in the summer, um, I went through a lot of pain with my job in the summer and legal stuff and all all manner of nonsense. Um, it, there was a before I started my own company, I was like, do I do I do this? Because it doesn't make a lot of money, but it could if you put your you know, like DJ puts his heart into like DJ does massive long hours and stuff and makes a living out of it, and you can do that, you can. Um, and it was like, do I or do I not? And then I was like, well, 
it's a hobby and I enjoy it still and if it became a job you would feel the pressure a lot more so um, so I thought no let's keep it as a hobby let's keep it as a hobby and actually since making that decision I actually think I've enjoyed myself more so mega graph though really hard producing sheer amount well it, there's there's um there's a lot of hours that go into it. I, I won't I won't deny it. It does uh, it does take quite a lot of time up. But um, so Kadirk did six months, didn't he? He had a six month window. Um, but it's uh, it's like anything, right? Isn't it? If you play sport professionally, it, it stops becoming something you enjoy and becomes something you. Like you're totally, I'm sure you still enjoy it, but you know what I mean. There's an extra level of, I don't know what is it, pressure or whatever that. Uh, yeah. Zuna, I've, I've no issues here at this end. I'm running. I've got green lights and uh, everything's running smooth. No drop frames or anything. So uh, might might be just just hit a, hit a quick refresh. Mr. Sealy P gets the pressure of always having to do con Yeah, I know he does. Yeah. Yeah. It's um it does change things considerably, so I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, do, do you know what it do you know what's nice now is I obviously have my job which pays the bills and all of that and feeds the family and all of that stuff, and then this is a nice extra that I can you know, like when I went to FarmCon last year, I could pay for myself to go to FarmCon for a couple of days and when I want a new bit for my computer, I can buy a new bit for my computer and stuff like that. So, you know, that makes it... Um, AI worker A has stopped work ex unexpectedly, left the course. Who is worker A? Ah, so here's the problem now. We've got, we've got a queue. This is where you want to have almost a second waypoint. You can almost set up two waypoints for your... Uh, for your tractors. Because he'll he'll get stuck now in the river. <laughs> should we go and should we go and have a look? Should we go and have a look? It was you're right, John. It just was an opportunity that popped up, and he thought, why not give it a go? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's like the Italian job. Hold on, lads. I've got an idea. It left the course. He left the course. Somebody owes me a hundred quid. If I get, I get through, where is it? And I'll get through another forty minutes. I want a hundred bucks off uh, Stegman. So I've spotted this. If you run this for a long time, if you run the bunker silo thing for a long time, it does get itself lost after a while. It gets itself a little bit confused. You want to see how much it's compacted. Just five percent. Boss Ops, um, this is a single player game. Sealy Vid when he's walking his dog was great, it really felt. Yeah, yeah, it was very, it was nice of him to be so honest, wasn't it? Must be. I've always wondered about doing that, and then you kind of... I'm like... Would anybody be interested in listening to me going for a walk? It is a pusher, but it should compact a bit as well. I'll get the rollers on afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that... It's this uh, new concrete... concrete silage. I'm interested to see if it overflows over the top, actually.
Take a walk on the new movie set. I do need to go and... I want to go and play with my drone a bit more. It's been sitting in the box since I got back. I need to go and uh, have some fun with that. Right, there we go. That was what I was waiting for. We were waiting for a trigger. And there's a third trailer coming back. So he's not hes not really been hanging around that long. Look at him sneaking out in front there. Look at that. That's a rogue move. Way. He's also not full, which is interesting. <laughs> Thanks, Aussie. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Do you think that'd be a reality? Loads of people would be interested in listening to the chat while I walk. Yeah, maybe I'll do it one day. Maybe I'll do it one day. Oh, totally. Totally. We always used to, like, yeah. Silage trailer. Silage trailer banter to keep, uh, keep things amusing. I know, half a load though, right? Hey, Elite, how you doing, mate? I did see a pop in there. Ah, oh, thanks, Saran. Ah, oh, that makes me feel all fuzzy inside. Thank you. Ah, there you go, Johnny sorted. Good. Excellent. Jonas Olsen, show the map. There it is. Please show the map. Long walk off a shop. <laughs> My kids used to dive, actually. There you go. A, a, a total tangent. My kids used to dive uh, the Commonwealth Pool, which is a massive swimming pool in Edinburgh. It was built for the Commonwealth Games way back in the 70s. Um, it has got the Scottish Diving Club, and they were selected through school. They did some exercises in class, and they went, well, you're quite good, we'll take you. And they got they were on the, on the uh, fast-track program to Scottish Diving. And, like, 50 kids got on it, right, from Scotland, and it narrows down to 30, and then, like, one or two get through. But they did all right. They did it for a couple of years. But uh, just thinking that long walk off a short pit, like, they used to throw themselves off 10 meter boards, and it was just like, pfft. I went up there once and stood at the top and went, yep. Yeah, Hamish, they're... Uh, Right, is Green going to let him tip, or is he just going to annoy him by being in the way? No. Jerry, FSG, what do you think the maps on FS19 are better than FS20? So here's my thing with maps on 22, and I think it's been summed up by um, uh, Edgewater. Uh, Bally Spring. I'm now talking from a playability perspective. I was reading um, some of Farmer Klein's comments on his vids earlier this week because Bally Spring got quite a low score based on Farmer Klein's scoring system. That's not to say Farmer Klein doesn't like the map, right? It's just a, it's an arbitrary sort of scoring system, and you know people get upset about it. And, and but the reality is, on oh, this is going to end in tears, isn't it? What are you doing, John Deere? Um, so the reality is, I think, at the start of FS22, it was, it was horrible for the first couple of months. The desperation from people demanding mods, wanting to see mods, un underhand folk trying to... This is not going to work, guys. This is not going to work. You put that back down. <laughs> Let's let him get out of the way first. Right? This boy's not getting his bonus. Um, I need to move that final point forward a little bit, don't I, I think? Because it's going back to the reverse point and then going back out. See, I told you, the fen would have waited. 
The other Fent would have waited and been polite. But oh, no, no, no. Not Mr. John Deere. Not Mr. Right to Repair. Oh, no. Uh, although we could have... Oh, he is on look ahead. That's interesting. Collision detection. Yes, let's turn that on. Probably needs that. Um, but yes, yeah, so back to back to maps and mod. It was like the first three months was horrible, and I think some people rushed to get maps out, just to get maps out. And I think that trends maybe continued a bit because we've seen a lot of pretty mediocre maps. They're not up to the standard. There were, you know, every week you would get a gem of a map map coming out with nineteen, whether it was a a, a convert or a or a new map. But they're generally were really really good quality maps and i would say one in ten if that of maps that come out have been have been good in 22 in my opinion um but i'm thinking we're starting to see the shift in that now the people that have waited and taken their time and are, and are building quality maps um will uh we'll start to see those coming through So I don't think we are Strody. So here's the deal. They've not released any content for um, the year two season pass yet. And there's four releases in that. So let's assume the first one, maybe the first one comes in Feb. Um, I think they're going to, I think, I think they're on a three year cycle now. And I don't, I don't know this for sure but I think that extra year that they saw during Covid has made them go okay can we do more in the time we've got we're stuck on the car come on give him a nudge John Deere give him a nudge he seemed to be enjoying getting in his way most of the time help him out or we can just tweak that gives us the opportunity to tweak it now, though, doesn't it? There we go. I'm going to have to go and remedy this manually. Yeah, map release at DLC 4, so basically we'll get the Polish map on the, basically, I think, the two-year anniversary of the game being released. So they're not going to release a map and all that new content and then instantly release a new game, I don't think. Um, so my feeling is I think uh, I think we're on a three-year cycle. What's going on, Fen? Yeah, well, it's interesting. The FIFA's FIFA's done now, isn't it? Doesn't exist anymore. That ship has sailed. Twenty two came out with a change in the engine, I think three if not four. What's going on with this uh, tractor? Seems to be having a little bit of a let the John Deere go past. They're both going a bit iffy, actually, aren't they? Look, they're both... Oh, he's kicking on there. Oh, he's picked up the wrong course. Well, this guy shouldn't have... 
collision. Yeah, it's, it's, you're right. It is collision detection. It is. I remember that now. It picks up those telegraph poles. That's the problem on this map. That's the problem. Let's turn one of these off for a bit and space them out a bit more. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jerry. Carmston is a beautiful map, and Court Farms is going to be great too, but each to their own, right? I love playing big American maps as much as I love playing Valley Springs, so... And there's also, there's a lot of, uh, You play what you used to as well. So the American guys will tend to play American maps, and they hate anything with a funny-shaped field. But, uh... But I think, you know, there's this... And that's that's the beauty of the game, right? There's a new map coming out every week, so if you, if you if you got bored of the map you're on, or you want to look at another map, or you fancy something different, you're able to find something. It's brilliant. Turn on call second on the combine and pre-call to zero. What? So he's sitting behind waiting. My issue with that sometimes is the. Um, They can overlap with each other. Call second and load it. Let's drop it to 30. Yeah, if you have two of them next to each other, they, um... The forage harvest can sometimes get a little bit confused and, uh... AI worker D has stopped working and left the course. We better go... Oh, no! No! It was... <laughs> it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Damn it, I owe Stegman money now. This is what happens when you use a case. Help! Help! Is the Fent going to come in for, uh, just for support purposes? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I think we might, that's not a bad call actually, uh, uh Cranks, is we'll, uh, we will park it in the bunker. Uh, reset. Oh, we better reset that as well, haven't we? Of course we better reset that. Got my overalls wet. And... Reset. Yes. I think it should be in here. Yeah, let's look at that. Good as new. Wouldn't even know it had been in the water. Dr. Farm Sim, I take it you've watched my video where I actually use that technique. Not a technique we use in the UK. We're all about the forage harvesters in the UK. I'm going to fix that while I'm here too. Too many teething problems. At least he had the decency to stop. John Deere would have just rammed him. Let's see if we can move these without wreaking havoc. We might have already caused ourselves a whole heap of issues here.
go. If that helps. If only Harksy hadn't muted. I know he's came in and said hello, hasn't he? And then gone off. He'll be gutted he's missed that. Um, let's set this up again, shall we? Let's set it up and uh, see if we can do things a little bit differently. Create job. Park position there. Let's park it in the silo. Just for a change. See what happens this time. Oh, I thought he was going straight in then. Hey, Big Mike, how you doing? Nice to see you. I, I, I clean my tractors a lot more now, Farmer G. You take that back. <laughs> uh, Jerry, yes, uh, Edgewater Sask is coming to all platforms. Well, obviously, depending on Giants signing it off and approving it, right? That that That's always the caveat, because... They might get to a point, and it's happened before. I've had other maps that were hoping to be on console, but um, they get bored of kind of all of it because there's so many rules and things around um, around uh, what you can and can't do on console, and limitations, and and you know, performance-wise, they just don't have the, op the the power to run some of the bigger maps. So, yeah, I think they're horribly strict. Which is why some modders just don't bother, because there's a lot of ju jumping through hoops. Um, I don't know what the split is, actually, um, of console versus PC these days. Um, I think in 19, I think it was about 70% with console. So... Um, He's not dropping the blade down either, which is not ideal. I do like the way it works, the, the blade, though. That's quite clever. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Cranky. And Mark. There's always one, isn't there? How many more subs? Good question, James. Good question. 986 986 Hello Trio, how you doing? Nice to see you How are we doing for time? Actually? Cracky <laughs> Hey like see how you doing Oh look at him lifting the back up, we need a weight on the back now don't we uh, Favourite map on 19? Probably Best play, exactly John, I said Get a case. Of course it's not going to do the job properly. It's a joke, by the way. You get a load of case fans coming at me. Uh, Favourite map on 19, Jerry, uh, probably was Flint Hills, just because it... Uh, well, there you go. Thanks, Hamish. Yeah. Flint Hills and Oakfield, probably the same. Loved Oakfield. Phenomenal map. That was um, Oakfield was the first map that I really discovered. In fact, discovered course play, um, bigger fields, some non mod hub mods and things like that. It was that was really when it kind of kicked off for me. Um, no, I don't think I can, Mally, although I might be able to. So I'm interested to see now what happens. Um, I might be able to adjust my reversing speed. Yeah, 3.1, that'd be why it was so bad. There we go, that's helpful. There we go. Just lurking. Not working out so great, though. So this is the interesting what happens if he's where the tip point is in the bunker? Do 
Joe, when did I start playing? Um, I dab. I actually have a copy of Farm Sim 11. Um, but I didn't play it in anger. I probably the mo 19 really. I played a bit, dabbled a bit in 17. Um, but never really got into it. It was just a kind of novelty then. I kind of liked it because it was farming and I came from a farming background. But uh, uh, basically, I think, uh, uh, really, yeah, 19. Never play Farm Sim in anger. It's a ha it is a happy game. It is a happy game. 69mega.com have a good time find your love it's farm sim oh he's still just gonna tip all over the are we a little animation glitch there oh it's still doing the reverse thing oh well um, have you tried a silo leveler or wheel loader for pit of topes? Uh, wheel loaders don't work because it has to it recognizes the blade. It the uh, the identifier the identifier is the blade. Um, but the silo levelers, the um, the rollers, not that I'm at zone stuff. That's why right. um, the rollers these compactors work. It recognises those as well. Still doing three miles an hour, even though I've said no, go 13. So it's the auto drive route for the silage trailers. I didn't actually change anything, Cranky. It was um, the standard auto drive course, other than I created a... I've tried to move it back now. I've tried to move some of the points further away from the back of the, the clamp because they were... It was like it wasn't getting to the back point. Does the ski slope thingy machine work? That's a good question. I don't know. Never tried that one. Two hundred grand. You want me to buy that for two hundred grand? Shall we? For a laugh. Broken trash man. Did you? What was your question? I'm going to scroll back up because you asked so nicely. I'm going to scroll back up and see if I can find it. And I can't find it. You might have to ask it again, mate. Oh, no, there it is. How many mods would you load up when you start a new game using only mod hub? Either way, solo or multiplayer. To do anything possible on the map. Uh, it depends what you... Exactly that, what you want to do, to be honest. Um, uh, I, I run probably... Oh, it's getting caught on the lip now. Um... Probably, about, on average, I have about 20 to 25 mods that I'll install every game without fail, start of a game. Um, and they're usually kind of helper mods like um, course play, auto drive, easy dev. I mean, there's tools that I use because I'm a content creator for vids and stuff to make life easier, like easy dev. Um, but if you're just playing the game, you might not want to play with them. But um, I do those and then... I have a, probably a collection of maybe about 50 of my favourite mods, like, for example, these tractors, um, certain sets of trailers, certain combines, things like the, uh, the honeybee headers and things like that. Let's see, if I pop this... On silo mode it does! Let's... Uh, Let's flip out the case for this then and see what happens, shall we? See, this happens sometimes. He ends up beaching himself because he doesn't lift the blade high enough. Technically, this has worked, though. I did say third time lucky, and this one has done all right, but it did go in the river. Two. So, it's not perfect. 
I know we're not ready for a new game. I think there's a lot to come for 22 yet. When you see even the, the, the jump forward in the quality of the map, the Silver Run, compared to the, the base game maps, I think... Um, I think they were using that as a test bed for some new stuff for the engine, and if, if they've done that... Um, if they've done that in 12 months since the game came out, give them another two years, it'd be great. This is interesting, actually. I wonder... Yeah, see, I, this is only 8.6 tonnes, so it's half the weight. Half the weight of that case, with the blade on it, which is interesting. So it's only really the tracks that is the is the different thing, but I'm all for giving it a go. Right, I need to jump back to my... There we go. Thinking back, did you think you would ever be doing farm... No, definitely would not have thought I was doing... Uh, Farm sim vids. Not at all. And it was... If it hadn't been for COVID and being stuck at home with uh, lockdown and stuff, I wouldn't have... Um, I would never have done it. Because I would have been... I would have been busy doing other stuff. Root out of the bunker turns too early. Is that right? So this should be moved further over here, should it, Cranks? Race against time now. Breaks. I think that's enough. We'll give it a go, shall we? We are definitely glad you started. Great. Thank you, Joe. That's uh, that's awesome, man. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, the Light Wolf Agro Power. Do you think? Oh, well, let's see. It's not picking up the silo again. Silo position should should almost be instantly recognised. And um, park position. Let's pop it over here. Leave it to wait in the silo as well. We'll turn on a sixpence, so won't he? Look at that tracks. None of this having to, none of this having to turn in a, in an arc. Savage, I think COVID could be a fascinating thing, but look back in twenty-five years, things change for everyone, for good and bad. Certainly flipped my life, and yeah, I think there's a lot of people like that. You're right, and um, You enjoy watching FS more than playing it. It's very disappointing. Well, I don't think it's heavy enough. I don't think it's got enough weight on it. I also have no idea what it's doing now. I'm assuming these blade wings fold out as well at some point. How much uh, how much have we got in here? I mean, it's basically an hour's work, this. Oh, half a mil. Is that all? 
What do you reckon this is a five mil silo? Let's see what's turn. There you go, that's a problem. Bet you that was it. Turn in reverse, let's bump them up, shall we? Whose idea was this? He's not even got into the bunker yet. <laughs> That's what we're doing with that. Nice to see you too, Marcia. Hope you are doing good. Hello, an elitist. Oh, what's he doing? Oh dear, I've got a. I've got a now. I've got a. Oh, it's all going horribly wrong now. I've got. Uh, Got cursor issues. Right, there we go. I think that might be my problem. No. Oh, I hate it when it does this. Does anybody else get this sometimes? You kind of get your cursor stuck halfway on your on your game and halfway out of your game. It's basically when I've I've opened the course play menu. So I can't open course play now. There we go. That was the problem. Who said tab? You're a genius. Thank you, Black Book. I see, even this does look. That doesn't even work. Some of this push back a little bit before the next one comes along. We're kind of almost at the end of the almost at the end of the stream here. I found three tractors that have not performed well tonight in bunker mode. Working all right for me, Doctor. Need a bigger blade, to be honest. Not pushing into the corners either. Doesn't help that the uh, the blade control is bouncing up and down straight away, which is annoying as well. And I don't know why it's doing this three mile an hour thing. I'm not even in. Uh, not even in course play now. Very odd. Very odd behaviours. See if we can push this bit from the front here. No, that is well and truly stuck to the ground. Sniper Steve, how's it going, man? I suppose if I'm driving, I could get one of the big tracked ones. Maybe it's got water in it, Jim. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Well, lessons learned tonight. Bunker silo. That's that's probably the worst it's performed for me since I've used it. And I've used it on a fair, like I said, I've used it on a few things, but uh, for whatever reason tonight, maybe it's the bunker, maybe it's just some poor choice of tractors, but uh, it has not worked as well as I would have liked it to. A little, uh, a little New Holland on uh, Bally Spring just plods away all day. No issues. What we'll do, we'll maybe just grab the 9RX and just push a couple of loads up. Not seen any trailers come down for a while either, which makes me nervous. Because that's been running, that's been running smooth as smooth as you like. But I try the. There's no point, Jason, because it's it's a it's a toy tractor. It would uh, it wouldn't know what to do with that that volume of silage. No worries, tired. We're uh, we're gonna knock it on the head in a little minute anyway. So uh, good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Let's leave that. Let's go and see what's happening up here. We have a collision. You know, sometimes you just know it's time to go to bed, don't you? Ah, they're trying to escape straight out of the field. Because... Um... Strict Pathfinder to field. Field exit behind start, that's my problem. Ten out of ten for trying, boys. Do not go out of there. That's not an official departure point from the field. Ah, restrict Pathfinder to field. There's a problem there. I think the other one's finished as well, though. So, yeah, we've got three trailers in a row coming down to the farm. Right. At that point... I think we'll leave it for there. Thank you all very much for hanging out. Sorry it was a little bit haphazard tonight. Um, I'll try and not do that too often. I don't really want to work till 9pm every night either, so uh, I will try and avoid that myself too. We've cleared a lot of that field though, which is good. So uh, look after yourselves, have a great rest of your week, and um, who knows, we'll maybe do something at the weekend again. Quite enjoyed Saturday night, so we'll maybe have another go at that. But uh, thanks for all the chat. And uh, yeah, take care. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now.